Welcome to Mirror Lake. The lake is a part of the tidal St. Jones River, a river that flows from Dover's Silver Lake past Delaware's Legislative Hall and into the Delaware Bay at Bowers Beach. The health of Mirror Lake has been in decline for several decades due to stormwater runoff and sedimentation, invasive plant species, and contaminants in the bottom sediments that accumulate in fish. Restoring Mirror Lake is the largest and most ambitious part of the final phase of the Silver Lake Park Revitalization Project, a multi-phased restoration plan to improve water quality and protect the banks of the river and lakes. The plan uh, that we've developed uh, is ambitious and um, involves two pieces. One is to remediate the sediments in the pond and two to uh, restore some of the habitat. We landed on a, an in-situ treatment technology that's been developed by a university professor at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, right up the road. And the idea here is to use activated carbon, which is used very widely in drinking water purification, in aquaria, for example, to keep the fish uh, healthy. We are using that in a very large scale here where the carbon is going to be applied in a pelletized form, which is the sedimite, which is carbon with clay and sand. And these pellets are going to be applied in the lake. And then uh, these uh, carbon then is going to soak up the pollutants so that the fish don't get the pollutants. And we'll broadcast the pellets over the lake surface. They will sink to the bottom. Uh, over a, a few weeks time, they'll, they'll kind of dissipate or disintegrate a little bit. Uh, and spread that activated carbon uh, across the bottom of the lake. Mirror Lake has been under a fish consumption advisory for at least 20 years due to contamination. Uh, if we do nothing, uh, we project it would take another uh, 20 to 30 years before we could lift the fish advisory. Uh, we expect after treatment that we'll be able to get a 90% reduction or greater uh, contamination level in the fish. Uh, within three to five years. That is our goal. In addition to the remediation, the project also includes several habitat improvements and restoration activities, including the conversion of an existing sandbar in the lake into an intertidal wetland. Uh, well, the sandbar that's in the lake right now uh, is natural. Uh, that's what Mother Nature, she wants it to be there. If we were to remove that, uh, Mother Nature would still want it there and the mechanisms would place the sandbar right back where it is and we're actually going to enhance the sandbar and embrace the sandbar and convert this area to an intertidal wetland. By planting native species on the sandbar the project will help to stabilize the bar and also improve water quality. At low tide you'll be able to see some of that. There'll be nice flowering plants. We're also going to stabilize the bank on the western side of the lake uh, where Fraser's restaurant is um, the bank there has been undercut um, severely and will continue to do so. So we're, we'll be installing what are called uh, core logs. It's a natural material that will be uh, double stacked uh, and will prevent further erosion on that side. Denrec is keeping project costs in check by using volunteer labor where possible. Invasive species removal and some general site preparation work is being conducted by Delaware's boot camp program as well as by AmeriCorps volunteers. The majority of the labor required to broadcast the sedimite into the five-acre project area is coming from DENREC personnel from every division within the department. The volunteer labor that we're utilizing uh, from DENREC staff should save the project uh, anywhere on the order from $100,000 to $150,000. The Mirror Lake project is a partnership that includes Dover Silver Lake Commission, the City of Dover, all divisions within DENREC, the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, and hundreds of citizen volunteers. This project is going to be the largest of its type anywhere in the country uh, that applies the particular uh, carbon product that we're going to be using. Uh, to our knowledge, uh, Delaware is the first state uh, in the country to try this technology. Um, again, it's ambitious um, and we have, we have every expectation that this will give us what we hope, and that is to be able to remove the fish advisory uh, in this system within three to five years.